Hi everyone, welcome back to this exploring conversation with Greg and MD. Great to see you all here today joining us. So our topic today is about the phone as a communication channel and more specifically when we should use the phone over a text message. So that's what we're going to get into today. It's so funny that the term phone to me sounds antiquated at this point. Yeah. I almost think of like one sure. of those uh, spin spin phones. Yeah. Um, or like one of those, I mean, certainly very few people have a landline anymore, right? Yeah, but totally. Uh, but of course, our smartphones do in fact still have the phone function. Right. And sometimes there's a really good reason to use it. Yeah, and I think, you know, so I was at the hairdresser um, <laughs> at this point a year ago, and we were talking about basically, you know, uh, the hairdresser was talking about how clients would be really nervous about calling in and making an appointment. And so they noticed that they were not getting many calls and so they moved to online reservations and that just like exponentially increased their clientele their business. and their business. And then the few people would still call, but it was remarkable. And, and she herself, she was a young woman saying how she was not keen on making phone calls and even, you know, said that she basically had phone phobia. Yeah, I totally get it. There's this um, sort of... Uh, this intensity to a phone call, yeah. right? There's this pressure to deliver um, and to make sure you say what you wanted to say um, uh, almost on the fly. That, yeah. um, uh, that, that it's almost like you're on stage when right. you're on a phone, right? Right, and a lot of people get this like communication apprehension, almost stage fright like you were alluding to, and yeah. it's really interesting, whereas you know, in the past, before we had smartphones and text message capabilities, I mean, I remember calling my friends every day after school and friends calling my house, and we would chat for a good, you know, a good while. Yeah, I mean, it was basically the only long distance form of uh, communication. Yeah, so it's really interesting how we've now shifted, and not everybody, obviously, but I've run into a lot of people telling me that they're not comfortable on the phone anymore and that they much prefer a text message. So why is that? Why is that happening? What, what are your, some of your thoughts, Greg, initially? Well, uh, you know, the truth is there are some things that are better conveyed through a text message. That's true. Right, and through text in general. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of things like like logistics, exactly. Right when yeah. you need a when you need a written record of something when uh, you're trying to set a date yep. or lay out, you know, uh, the time and date and location of where you're going. Mm -hmm. um, with a text or an instant message, you can use you can sort of embed links and stuff. Right, like send a uh, send a like um, a map. Yeah, you can send uh, a map, a location. a location pin. Right, there's a bunch of um, functionality. Yeah. Uh, in a text. Uh, that you uh, don't get in a phone call. Right. And I would totally agree with that, especially when you're trying to search for something later on. So let's say you set a date a week or two out from when you're like you're talking present day, let's say, and it's the event is two weeks from now. And in the middle of all that, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to forget any details. So you have a nice searchable text message, so to speak. Yeah, you can find it. The other thing that's nice is um, using using uh, text messaging yeah. or any kind of thing like that. Um, it just, it ensures that uh, everything is communicated clearly, mm -hmm. right? You can mm -hmm. read through it and you know exactly what you said and you can revisit it later and make sure you didn't miss any details. Right. Whereas when you talk over the phone, uh, you don't necessarily remember what you said. The other person doesn't necessarily remember what you said. Yep. Uh, you may not remember what they said. Yeah. <laughs> um, so again, when it comes to things where the details matter, uh, I really like to have a, a written record. For sure. Just, just for reference. Yeah. So in terms of when the phone might be a good idea, well, 
you can use the phone for nice catch-ups with friends, right? So have you ever been in a situation where you're texting a friend and they're texting back and all of a sudden it went from like one sentence, like how are you, to fine thanks, how are you, to then like these chunks of text and chains and it's like all paragraph form and it's very... Your fingers uh, are getting tired. You're getting tired typing (laughs) and it's like, well, that would be a good way then to segue, a good time to segue to something like the phone where you can have a nice heart to heart over the phone, you know, and really get into the details that are not like important for logistics per se, but nice to kind of, you know, talk about the goings on in your life and things like that. Yeah, if we were going to use the example that we were using earlier, let's just say we are planning some kind of yeah. um, uh, outing with friends. Um, the other reason to use a phone would be uh, during the planning phase, right? Mm-hmm. Before you get to the actual specifics, mm-hmm. uh, when you're just brainstorming, right? right. Uh, if you try and do that uh, in, in writing, it can get, like you're saying, very profuse and yes. uh, diffuse, right? Yeah. So uh, it's just a mess of words and texts and, uh, you know, it would be much, most, most of which don't need to be retained. Right, I right? like that with the brainstorming phase, yeah. right? So you're kind of like throwing out ideas, getting a feel for the vibe, right? Exactly. Like let's say you wanna have a picnic, well where would you do that? And you go into details like who's gonna bring what and it's a nice thing to sort of uh, discuss over the phone. Oh, you're going to say something? Well, I was going to say, sometimes I like to use both. And in that scenario, this is a little bit of a, um, you know, um, echoing what we just said, in that if you're going to do a catch-up with someone on the phone, what I like to do is plan that over text. Mm. So I might say... Schedule it over text. Schedule it, yeah. So I might say, um, let's say I'm doing like a, a, a meeting or... Um, even like a virtual call, like let's be honest, we're all using that these days. Um, so I might send a text out to a group of friends and say, who's available Friday at seven for a nice phone call or video call? And then we'll plan it out. Everyone will confirm, set the date, and then we you know, have the call at that time, whenever we schedule it. Yeah. yeah, and to be clear, when we say phone call, I I, I think we're also talking about like Zoom calls, any kind of uh, real-time voice chat, Yeah. right, is, is sort of what we're referring to here. Yeah. Um, I think another really good time that you'd wanna use a phone over text mm-hmm. is uh, a situation where it could be emotionally charged. Yes. Right, where yeah. you want to make sure that you're communicating your your meaning mm-hmm. um, and, uh, uh, you know, whatever sort of um, feelings, whatever sentiment you want to convey, mm-hmm. that's easier to do with your voice um, and even better with video chat, right? Yeah. Where they can see your face. Right. Um, the more you get a little higher resolution type of communication. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, again, going to our, our example with the brainstorming phase, um, sometimes in writing, uh, if someone has a bunch of ideas, they can yeah. seem almost uh, dominating or or too pushy, right? It's not clear the way they're stating them whether they really support these ideas yeah. or they're just you know trying to be collaborative and throwing out a bunch and, and don't right. really care which way. Right. That's much easier to sort of discern those nuances mm. with voice, right? You right. Can, you can hear. Um, how someone feels about what they're saying and yeah. uh, how they res- uh, how they're receiving what you're saying. Right. It's more participatory in that respect, yeah. in that with that communication. Channel. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think the other thing, like if if someone's having an issue with the phone, like let's say, and just the phone, so just you know this and not the virtual. Um, I think one way is to practice using the phone and maybe go out on a limb and have conversations with friends you would normally see on a virtual call, like a video call, and try to practice more with the phone because we still use the phone is the thing, right? It's not completely outdated or obsolete because there are times where we do need to use the phone. Um, And so it's not a bad idea to try to practice on the phone. Yeah, absolutely. And not to mention, there are times where you prefer the phone over, say, a video chat, Yeah. right? You want that synchrony. You want that real-time conversation, but you don't want to worry about, you know, if people are dressed up or if they're in an appropriate, you know, area to, to be on the phone. 
um, right? Yeah. You don't you don't necessarily always want that visual uh, uh, component because sometimes yeah. that's just more than than than's required, mm -hmm. um, and it can add a little more stress to the conversation. The phone itself, just the the, the voice alone, uh, can be very effective while sort of maintaining people's privacy. It's less intrusive than something like a video call. Right, for sure, for sure. And again, like I feel like nowadays, like even in the last five years with our friends and things, we don't necessarily just pick up the phone and call them the way we used to, right? Because everyone is busy these days, even though everyone's on their phone 24 seven, we still have that like sense of respect and boundaries and that they're probably doing something and can't talk right now, right? So it's my, my personal feeling about this is scheduling a time to talk on the phone, yeah. right? Using your phone or even email, but since we're talking about phone and text in this situation, texting and then talking mm -hmm. on the phone, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, the reality is there are very good use cases for both. Yeah. And, um, you know, being smart about which one you use can, can dramatically enhance uh, the quality of your communication with your friends, with your colleagues, with your clients. Um, and it's amazing how uh, people who are effective at navigating these differences and choosing the right channel for the right yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's amazing how much more they can get communicated and how much more clearly they can communicate by using those in a smart way. Right, for sure. And this comes across in not just you know, casual communication context, but also professional communication context where you might be uh, exchanging notes via text and you, you notice there's actually more to be said. Maybe you're working on a project together and you need to collaborate. Well, then it's better to move that to the phone, Yeah. right? So don't be afraid to mix and match these communication channels and move it from one channel to the next, right? Or vice versa. If you're not able to take a call, you say, let's say somebody calls you from the office. You might say, um, it's much better if we chat quickly over text. Let me know what's going on. Get a sense of what's happening. Think about it. And then you can have a phone call. Yeah, Right? Absolutely. Using that thinking time. Yep, that's yeah. great. So it's nice to mix and match. And yeah, practice, practice all communication channels, go out on a limb and have a conversation over the phone, even though we're, some of us are out of practice, it's okay. But yeah, just keep, keep these in mind and you might notice that you would like to have a phone call, right? And Yeah, it's nice to have from time to time. Yeah, it's refreshing. It's a nice change of pace. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for joining us. We will see you right here for another conversation. Bye for now.